I love to cook. Even since I was a child, I cooked with my mother and grandmother in France. I dreamt of becoming a chef one day and have my own restaurant. I even went to culinary school in Paris and worked at some of the restaurants there. But life had other plans for me and made me a magician instead. It made me travel the world and eat really good food. But I never lost my love for really good cooking. What's up everybody and welcome back! This is uh, Julian Food and this is all the potatoes that's growing up. So they will be here very good for midsummer, I hope. That's the, the big goal for the Swedish farmer, it's to get the potatoes for midsummer. As you can see here, we are not gonna pick this potatoes for this dish yet. You can see how it's growing, but we're gonna wait another, another week. So today we are gonna cook an amazing dish, Swedish dish, herring, Baltic herring with mashed potatoes and lingonberry. So okay, here is the radish growing. I hope this one is going to be good. We have some more uh, zucchini over there and we also have um, some thyme, some, uh, what's the name of this again? Chives. Chives. Okay, so here is uh, how we're gonna make this dish. Uh, Baltic herring, you might think that I actually went to buy this in the store, uh, but I didn't. I actually went out fishing it. And now you think I'm lying, but I'm not, because here's the proof. Well, anyway, uh, so what you need, you need butter, you need some vegetable oil, some lingonberries. This is my mother who made this lingonberries. And we have breadcrumbs and I also do my own breadcrumbs always. We have some flour and of course the fish. And the spice dill. Dill. Ah, dill. Summer, sweetie summer. Great. And we also need a mealy potato. So you're not going to use the fresh potatoes that you just drew, pull out from the, from the ground because that's going to be too much water in it. And you want to have that soft, you know, that tender and there's mealy kind of small pieces uh, potatoes. So let's get started. You can actually use any kind of fish for this. I mean, small fishes. I know that there is different fishes all over the world. Like for example, uh, I mean, in France, we use sardines and we can use, we can cook sardines in about the same way as we cook the herring in Sweden. For, for example, you can find, you see this, oh, you, you see, there's so many different fish you can find. Uh, maybe not this fish, <laughs> since it's not real fish. <laughs> so this is how the herring looks like. And I clean them up like this. Some of them I made, so they still have the bone here, but some of them, what we're going to use today, I actually cleaned that out as well. So so you can see these potatoes there, they got some sprouts coming. It doesn't matter, it's still a very nice potatoes. Like magic! <laughs> Look at this. What do you do with all this crap? Of course, you can put it in your own uh, compost and you can compost it and make earth of it and put it in the garden. That's really good, many days of the year, but look now what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna take all of it and I'm gonna push it down into this little thing. Put a little bit of water. Magic! It's called Insincorator. I know that many people have this in their homes, but uh, Insincorator is a food waste disposer that has like razor blades that's crushing everything into nothing. Yes. So now we're going to boil the potatoes and make the mashed potatoes. And when you boil it, you cut it in kind of small pieces. So it's easier, it gets faster to boil it. So normally you boil potatoes for 20 minutes, but if you cut them in pieces, it's gonna take you about 12 minutes. Mm. 
when it's boiled now it's time to mash the potatoes you can do it with a whip or with a squeezer a little bit of milk normally you preferably will use a heated milk but it works as well with cold milk you add some salt <coughs> some white pepper and it's perfect now mm, delicious very good perfect now we are going to pan the fish and add that crust on it so we're gonna dip the fish in flour and the flour sticks to the fish then we dip it into the egg because then the egg sticks to the flour onto the fish and with the eggs there we dip it right into the breadcrumbs the breadcrumbs I make them myself I always keep in my drawer leftovers like bread slices that's not gonna be eaten put everything together and when it's dry I mix it with a KitchenAid mixer and it's perfect breadcrumbs inside down and you put it in the pan and you put them all in there so even if there is a lot of butter it doesn't matter because it's just gonna help the fish to get really crusty we're not gonna eat all the butter it's it's, it's gonna be you know thrown away so now we have to turn them over look how nice they become here look okay so whenever you flip over uh, the fish you always want to flip it towards the camera towards the camera because that's when uh, the fat is actually not coming on you. That's not good. Okay, I think the fish is ready for plating. cut very very thin of the the shives that's yeah. very beautiful for the decoration we're rolling them as eggs like this it looks a little nicer maybe it's a little overkill but this is gonna be for my son it's gonna be perfect the first time our son is gonna eat this fish so we're gonna add a little bit of this we cut this you can put this around it like that and a little bit of the dill as well and of course this dish needs that little color my mother's lingonberries ready okay so it's time to eat are you tired yes <laughs> is it crunchy mm -hmm. is it that crunch that you want Wow. This is good. So I, I'll, good. I'll, I'll try it as well. Thank you. Mm. I was so crunchy. Oh my God, it's good. So good. This is probably one of the best dishes in the world. It is. If you can do it, if you make it this way, and I'm French, so I always talk about French food, but this Swedish food is amazing. It's like the sweetness of the lingon berries together with the 
softness of the potatoes with a like the the fish the fish taste the saltiness no no it's it's just it's it's amazing hope you enjoyed this video give it a like and please subscribe to this channel you must subscribe uh, we have now 300 subscribers i guess so so it's going really well but um, thank you for watching see you next week peace bye bye